Hello everyone, I'm Brandon Marcello. This is Joel A. Erickson. It is Tuesday, we have a depth chart. Not a lot of surprises, but a lot of clarity. A few newcomers in the two deep as we expected. What stuck out to you, Joel? Uh, two things uh, stuck out. The freshman at star and at uh, field safety. The star one is really interesting. Nick Ruffin, who was originally thought to be a corner, uh, comes in second on the depth chart behind Justin Garrett. With him, with his size, he's listed at 174. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Makes me think they're kind of going for more of a Robinson Terezi type yeah. of guy there. Obviously, Terezi not on a depth chart. Um, the other thing that stuck out to me, H back and tight end. This is a, this is a minor thing. Yeah. And it's kind of a hard thing to notice. Yeah. But last year there was an H back position listed and a tight end position listed. This year they're combined, which may indicate a little bit of a shift in how those positions are. Yeah, probably so. Uh, offensively, as we all know, Nick Marshall is not going to start. Jeremy Johnson's a starter. Nick Marshall is listed as a starter because he is a starting quarterback for the rest of the season. Jeremy Johnson will start. And then finally, what everybody assumed, Gus Malzahn confirmed today that Nick Marshall will play. When's that going to happen? There's a plan. They're not going to reveal gonna it. Uh, also, you were kind of said that. You kind of said yeah, that. I just don't think he was going to do that. I don't think he's going to go. Yeah, three series. That's mm -hmm. the ticket. We won't know, and uh, we'll find out Saturday. I think we've been saying that since August first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, one uh, one other thing uh, a fan pointed out kind of interested me. Uh, Jimmy Hutchinson. Yeah. Scholarship punter, not even on the two deep behind Daniel Carlson. Yeah. Uh, there could be a reason for that. We don't get to talk to Scott Fountain, so we can't ask him this. But yeah. when, when I talked to him. A couple weeks ago, he said he had three guys who could do a sky punt and one guy who could do an Aussie awesome. punt. And Matt Shield from Australia is the guy who does the Aussie. So maybe that's why he's in there. But still, for a guy who's on scholarship, you want him on the depth chart. Definitely looks like they go situational there at punter, uh, this, at least early in the season. Would also help save Carlson's leg. Absolutely. Um, safety, Rudy Ford. Rudy Ford over there at Moncrief, yes. Still, I would expect both to play right. a lot, particularly in seems to run the ball. Moncrief is a bigger player and will definitely be a guy to watch out in this type of game. Gabe Wright at defensive end, not a surprise there. Uh, Elijah Daniels on the other side. And then obviously you got the, uh, the veterans there on the inside. So no big things there. They're going to go with a bigger line at times to combat that big, big offensive line of Arkansas. One thing to watch here, we've been talking about this bigger line or whatever, but their ends really are bigger than they were last year. Just across the board. Uh, the, uh, Elijah Daniels, 263. Uh, Devontae Lambert's up in the 280, 290 range. 290 something. Uh, and uh, I mean, Ladarius Owens is a little bit more of that speed type guy, but really, even when they don't put Wright and Adams out there, they're bigger guys on the defensive end right. this year than they were last year. Nine newcomers total in the two, two deep, including special teams, seven on offense and defense. Pretty, pretty even there. We'll see who ends up actually seeing the field. As we said previously this week, they're going to go with veterans in this SEC opener. Much more coverage throughout the week, as always, at AL.com.